Understanding the tangent ratio. Question 8. Isosceles triangle ABC has a base AB 15 cm long. The height of the triangle is 6 cm. Determine the measure of three angles of the triangle. Figure is given to us. This is a base AB 15 cm long. It's an isosceles triangle and therefore side AC is equal to side CB. 6 cm is the height of the given triangle. Well, since the triangle is isosceles, AB is divided into two equal parts by the perpendicular. And we have, let's say this point is D. In that case, AD is equal to DB. Right? And this perpendicular makes 90 degrees with the base AB. Now, the side length AD is how much? Half of 15 point, half of 15 centimeter, right? So AD is equals to half of 15, which is 7.5 centimeter. And we need to find the three angles of the triangle. That means angle A, angle B, and angle C. Now, since this is an isosceles triangle, angle A is going to be equal to angle B, right? And angle C will be 180 minus angle A minus angle B, correct? So that is how we are going to solve for all the three angles. Now, how will you find angle A? Well, we know perpendicular is 6 centimeters and AD is 7.5. Using these two sides, we can find angle A. It's an application of tangent ratio, correct? So we say tan A is equals to CD, the opposite side, CD over AD. Now, CD is 6 centimeters and AD is 7.5, half of AB. To find the angle A, we can do tan inverse. So angle A equals to tan inverse of 6 over 7.5. And we'll round our answer to a whole number. So we'll do tan inverse of 6 divided by 7.5 equals to 38.659. So this is equals to 38.65. We'll round this to a whole number and let's call it 39. Okay. So angle A is 39. Since the triangle is an isosceles triangle, angle B is equals to angle A, right? So angle A and B both are 39 degrees. Angle C should be 180 degrees minus angle A minus angle B, right? Because the sum of three angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. And that gives us, this is as good as 40, 40. So if you take out 80 and add 2, 102 degrees. So angle C is 102 degrees, right? So that is how we can apply tangent ratio to solve a triangle. Do you see that? So that's a good application of tangent ratio. Thank you.